Hey guys, in this one we're going to make a blend space for the uh, Sinti horse so that we can uh, make it walk and go smoothly from walking from idle to walking to running. So to start, I'm just going to make a new blueprint. I'll make it in the Sinti horse area. Um, I'll make it a character. Call it BP Rideable Horse. And we will set the mesh to the horse. And we'll just move him down to minus 88 and maybe center him a little bit. And I'm going to also add a spring arm and a camera. Add some camera lag, why not? And uh, file save all. All right, so now let's make our blend space. Uh, so we'll go into the deer, and we're going to need to retarget some more animations. So I'm going to do walk, retarget, Duplicate and retarget, and choose that, and that's good. And then I think there's a run or a charge or something like that. Run forward, retarget, duplicate and retarget. Of course, there we go. Just make sure these look okay. Looks all right. You could probably mess with this, like in terms of instead of animation, you can make it skeleton. Actually, I think that looks a bit better. It looks nicer. Yeah, it definitely looks nicer. So file, save all. And, um, alright, so now let's make our bun space. So I'll just select this guy with the magnifying glass, so I can right-click this, create bun space 1D. I'll call it Sinti Horse bun space 1D, that's fine. And let's bring in our idle. So I'll put the idle at zero, and then the walk. Animation should be additive, really. I think that's because the idle is set to additive by mistake. Yes, so hit no additive, file, save all. So if you get an error where you can't bring in the, um, um, yeah, okay. So yeah, if you get an error where it's red trying to bring in the animation, it might be set to additive. So just uh, load the animation. Just go to it and make sure that, so I'll just show you just in case you missed it. So like this area here, additive settings should be set to no additive. All right, so we'll bring our walk forward into the middle and then our run. And we're going to set some settings here. We'll just call this speed for the horizontal axis name. And the maximum value will be 600. So we're going to go from 300 to 600. So 300 is walking, 600 is running, and 0 is idle, obviously. All right, so now we need to make an animation blueprint. So we'll go back to our skeleton, right click, create animation blueprint, NMBP Synthy Horse. And we'll drag our blend space in here. And off speed, we'll promote to variable speed. And then in event graph, we're going to try to get pawn owner, cast to character or Synthy Horse, doesn't matter, I'll just do Synthy Horse, I guess. R rider ball horse, I think I did actually. And off that, get velocity. Length, vector length, and then set speed to that. And uh, by default, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is bring this guy into the world. And uh, that is to set his character movement to max walk speed 300, and then right click shift, and we'll get this set max walk speed. Control C, Control V, connect, and then if we hold Shift, I'll make our walk speed 600. If we release, it'll be 300. So this is so we can sprint, so we can see the blend space work. And then for the mesh, we need to select our NMBP Sinti horse. Oh uh, yeah, and actually rotated it because the deer is not facing forward. So just uh, rotate this guy back. And uh, this can. It's a capsule, actually. All right, so we've got our Sinti Horse NMBP, and I think we should be good to go. So for our horse in the world, just go to the bottom under Details and set Auto Possess Player, Player Zero. 
file save all. Oh, we need to actually add our movement commands, right? So I'm using the third person project, so it has movement by default. So move forward, uh, move right. And uh, we're going to go to class defaults, uncheck use controller rotation yaw, and for character movement, scroll down and go to the character movement rotation settings, orient rotation or movement, and that's fine. Now you can set up in the blend space so that the horse turns its head when you're moving in different directions, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. I'll cover that in a different video. Uh, actually, I think I already covered it in one of my previous tutorials for the wolf, so you can look in my channel for that. So move forward, add movement input, get actor forward vector. Actually, let's use the camera, get forward vector, so we can go where we look. And for move right, same thing but we will use use right vector, get right vector for that. And then for the spring arm, use pawn control rotation, and we will just do look right, look up. Sorry, I think it's turn, not look right. Yeah, it is. So add yaw, add controller yaw input, and then for look up, pitch, add controller pitch input. All right, so now we should be able to ride our horse. So let's play in a new window, we can look around, and we can start walking, yay! Now like I said, uh, it, he kind of spins a bit, so you'll want to add the turning animations, but I'll, you can look at the wolf video to, for how to do that. And if we want to run, we can hold shift, yay, we can run. Alright, so that's how to bring the city horse into Unreal and making a blend space for him so that you can uh, have some animations that work using Malber's Animation Deer Pack. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you later.